That will be all. Thanks. Thank As you would not visit me, I decided to visit you. Forgive my disarray. I, I, I was not expecting visitors. Evidently. Please, at least come. Come, sit. You can tell me what has brought you from the palace. <clears throat> I saw the Duke of Wellington. He has refused to form a ministry and says I must send for Sir Robert Peel. I, th I thought he might. I don't want Sir Robert Peel. Lord M, how can you leave me to face this alone? Do you imagine that I want to leave you, ma'am? There's something more important here than my feelings, or even yours. You are the queen of the greatest nation on earth, one that elects its government and abides by the rule of law. Now, I don't believe in much. As you know, but I do believe in the British Constitution in all its state of glory, and nothing, not even my devotion to you, will stop me from upholding it. You see? Peel's not such a bad fellow, really. Just remember, if he suggests anything that you don't like the sound of, just ask him for a little time to consider. When in doubt, always delay. And you will come for dinner tonight so I can tell you all about it? No, not tonight. Not until this matter is settled. And even then, I cannot be at the palace as much as I have been. Why not? I think if you were not my prime minister, you were still my friend. I think you must know why. A monarch cannot be seen to favor one political party. You must dine with Robert Peel. And he may ask you to make a few changes in the royal household. Harriet Sutherland and Emma Portman are both married to Whig ministers. He will probably want you to replace them with Tory ladies. But they are my friends. I would ask the same in his position. The Prime Minister must feel he has the confidence of his monarch. Look, these stones are so dirty. They must be clean before we go to Hanover. Hanover? We'll have to wait. Mm. I think it's going to be far more interesting to stay here now that Melbourne has gone. I do hope the loss won't prove too much of a strain on her wits. Oh, they have never been strong. Those awful bonnets. I heard today she actually went to Dover House quite alone. She must have lost all sense of propriety. If this persists, changes will be inevitable. Her Majesty has sent for me. Might I offer a word of advice? Everything will go very smoothly if you avoid contradicting her. She does hate to be proved wrong. I am sure that she will understand the situation when presented with facts. I find that the Queen responds to a personal approach, a well-told tale. She does tend to find the detail a trifle wearisome. I thank you for your advice. And I'm sure that we will do very well. Majesty cannot expect things to continue as they did under your ministry. In that case, I wish you a very good day. I have no chin in this one and two chins in the next. 